All right, ladies and gentlemen, my wife's Mercedes 2014 C250 and we're adding coolant today. It got a little chilly last night. Um, it's cranked up this morning and the low coolant light came on. So we're going to top off the fluid. Just like if you take it in for an oil change, they're going to say, would you like fluids topped off? So we just do that ourselves. Just preventive maintenance and maintenance. So, all right, there we go. That's what the video is about. Day two of Vlogmas, and you guys can see we're getting the Christmas stuff out. My dogs are more than enthused about Christmas. And we're fixing to blow some leaves. Oh man, it's gonna be fun, guys. Aren't, aren't we gonna have fun? That's my, my dog, Gabriel. Gabe, you hear me talking? Yeah, he said, yeah, man. Oh yeah, yep, we're ready to throw that ball. And Miss Abby, she's elderly and a little crippled, but they're still my American Golden Retrievers and they keep me company while mama's at work. So I work third shift. Mama works first shift. So somebody's always here with them. So they're watching me do Vlogmas Day 2 Mercedes with the coolant check and add. Okay, so I guess the first step would be to go inside the glove box and pull out the old manual. And you wanna, in this Mercedes manual, it's page 233. I'm getting a display message on the dash when I crank up showing check coolant level, C operator's manual. All right, there's my light. There's what it says. And it looks like this time of year, the temperature is dropping. So I'm gonna have to add a little bit of coolant. So now we gotta go to page 290 on how to put the coolant in. But even before we do that, we've got to search what coolant we need, which is not gonna be in this book. Uh, so I just did a basic Google search. Um, for Mercedes and found this right here. Already went to the auto parts store. You got this right here. This is for, this is a 2014 Mercedes C250. And this is the pre-diluted, so it's a 50-50 mix. Um, it's, see it says Mercedes Benz 2014 and up. So you want to put the right stuff in. You just don't want to grab the uh, green or the orange or whatever you think, or even worse, do not just go to the tap and put uh, tap water in the radiator. I've seen firsthand uh, it gets cold outside and it will bust your radiator in a heartbeat. You will wish you had just went and spent 20 bucks on a, a gallon of this, uh, which it won't take that, I'm sure. It'll just take a, maybe a quart or so since it's low. We'll put this on the shelf for next time. But do not use tap water especially because it's corrosive and will rust and uh, build up crap inside your radiator. Definitely don't want to use tap water. If you had to get by just on a trip to get you to an auto parts store, I don't know why you would even need that, but um, you could use a little bit of distilled water. But by the time you look and find distilled water, you can find an auto parts store and just do it right the first time, guys. Okay, so now we turn to page 290 and it's going to show you with pictures where your coolant reservoir is, how to check it your level uh, you don't want to open it if it's too hot if you've just driven the car want to let that cool down also um, right here it explains what to do so read this thoroughly before you go and um, do something you wish you hadn't but usually if you go get your oil changed uh, and it's a little low you can get them to top off fluids but I'd also be careful um, 
of places you don't know because they either uh, this world is pretty evil these days. People won't even do what they charge you for, or they may just put in water. So uh, just be be leery of that. These fly by night um, places. So okay, there's that. Okay, all right. You guys see what pages it's on. So this is like I said for the Mercedes. This is a 2014 C250. And we'll go under the hood next. Right. Coolant right here. Shows you. It even tells you to read the manual. Check to see if we can see this. Right here. Talks about reading the manual before I go to open that. And it tells you on the cap. Open with caution do not open hot um are you going to have some issues with hot liquid splashing all over you okay so i've got the cap loose waited on it to cool before i remove the cap and i guess this is pretty full so i guess you could try and put that in there without the funnel but since i have a funnel and i'm always Airing on the side of caution. All right, that put it to where the fill line is on mine. You guys can see that. All right. So you will have a fill line on the side. I was probably not even a quart low. I wouldn't even, uh, probably just triggered the sensor to show low coolant, but was not low too bad at all. Probably like a pint or half a pint, or uh, no, more than a pint, I would say. But okay, that fits back on tight. And there you go, as far as adding coolant to your mercedes okay before i end the video guys we just topped off the coolant right here but you want to get familiar and top your own fluids off and keep check on your own fluids and by fluids i mean power steering reservoir and you can see there's probably a little small leak on the cap if if there is you can replace that cap with a, a mercedes parts cap only uh, but that's power steering up here there's your oil dipstick you check your oil here there's your oil fill and mercedes is really finicky with the synthetic oil they take it usually costs us if we send it in it's around a hundred dollars for an oil change on this model Something not so important, but really is important to me. Uh, I don't want my wife to get caught um, without any windshield washer fluid. So simple right there. There's the brake fluid back here. You want to make sure that's above. And actually we may uh, make another video and add a touch of brake fluid. Yeah, there's the max line right there. So it's, it's probably in between, so it could use a touch of brake fluid. So I'll make another video on that. But check your, check your fluids and top off everything per spec. And the batteries back here, I've had that replaced already. And let's see, that's, that's about it. I know the air filter but we've replaced that already. So just a once over of the car and topping off fluids and knowing where to check your fluids. All right, so that should conclude the video, guys. This is day two of Vlogmas. Thought I would show you how to top off your fluids in a Mercedes in case you stumble across a video looking for uh, tips on that for the Mercedes C250. So, I'm Mike, living with 3M, day two down.